guys, welcome back to my channel. Monica Pia is here. Today's video is a very requested one and it's about post and pre-workout nutrition. So I've been getting a lot of that, uh, questions about what I eat before workout, um, what I eat after, what time, is it important, should you have fats, should you have carbs, should you have protein. Um, so today's video is to answer all of those questions that you guys um, have. Pre-workout is important because the body is going to use glycogen, which is energy, into the muscle in order to, to power through that workout. And now the post-workout is very important because all the nutrients that you lost while you were working out, your body needs to replenish it. Pre-workout. Why, what should you have for pre-workout? What time should you have pre-workouts? All right, like I said, pre-workout helps to fuel the body, it decreases muscle breakdown, um, and it increases your performance at the, in the gym. So it's very, very important. You wanna have it about 60 to 90 minutes. Obviously, each case varies. I, for instance, have like about 20 to 30 minutes before I go train, since I, um, train so early in the morning, I'm not gonna get up at three in the morning to wait. I'm not gonna get up at three in the morning to wait the 90 minutes. So I have accustomed my body to be okay on that 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so I'm usually eating, run out the door, and like whatever time it takes me to get to the gym, that's how long my body is digesting it, and that's why, thank God, it is fast acting carbs. Which brings me to my next question. What type of carbs, what should you eat? It should be fast digesting carbs, simple carbs like rice, bananas, dates, um, strawberries, honey, those type of things with the protein. I usually have cream of rice, a little bit of oatmeal, some egg whites, one egg, um, Greek yogurt, and some strawberries. Now my calories are getting higher, my macros are getting higher because I'm getting out of a deficit and doing a reverse dieting, so I'm trying to bring up my macros. So I'm not going to have like a lot, I don't want to have a lot of eggs, so that's why I kind of combine my proteins. Doesn't mean that you have to, that's just my case. Fast acting carbs are important, it's going to restore the glycogen in your blood and it's going to provide an instant energy, which is what you need, which is why you should wait about 60, 90 minutes so you don't lose that energy that your body just gave you. Post-workout. Post-workout, I know that there's like a huge thing on the internet, like the bro science is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, you don't wanna wait too long. You shouldn't wait more than about an hour to eat your post-nutrition. Now, it's important because your body has lost all this glycogen, all these nutrients, so it's going to be restored with the food that you're going to put into your body, which in that case also would be a fast acting carb and a protein. That way that glycogen gets restored very fast and you've got your protein. Post-workout nutrition is extremely important because it's going to help reduce soreness and fatigue. Um, like I said, replenish the glycogen and increase protein muscle synthesis or muscle protein synthesis, sorry. Um, I'll get into that in another video, but that is very important in order to build muscle. For my first post-workout meal um, is my protein shake. I'll have put some bananas in there, some spinach, um, I'll mix it with cashew milk and I think that's it. Like it'll vary, but usually that's what it is. I like shakes just cause I'm usually in a rush. So it's easy for me just to grab and go instead of cooking a whole meal. But you can cook a whole meal if that's what you do. I usually do that on the weekends when I have more time. Now, as far as structuring my meal plan, I do eat most of my carbs in my pre and post workout meal, and then I just go adding my carbs throughout the rest of the day. 
as of right now, with how my macros are, I'm eating 45 grams of carbs in each meal, pre and post workout. It is the meal that should have the most carbs because your body's gonna know what to do with it. It benefits the most and you're gonna get the most out of it. So that is why it is very, very important to have those meals filled with the most carbs. Especially, especially, especially if you want to gain muscle. If you guys want me to do another video more in depth of how to structure your meal plan or your macros, then let me know in the comments below as well. So that is my post pre-nutrition video for you guys. I hope it was informative. I hope you really enjoyed it. Until next time guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If not, and I'll see you guys in the next time.